Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. It's a great sense of pride to be able to put something like this on for virtually no cost to Long Islanders. We've had record-breaking crowds year after year, between four and 500,000 people come down over the weekend to see the show, and it just gives us such a great sense of pride to be able to bring such a patriotic event to Long Islanders over the weekend, and it's just a thrill for us. We absolutely love it. I served because I honestly believe in what our country stands for. Freedom for everyone and the right to be free. Living in, in this country we get a lot of freedoms and we take them for granted and I just wanted to give something back to my country and I thought that was the best way to do it. He was more excited, uh, probably the most excited person in the whole family when I was accepted to West Point, uh, even more so than I was. And I was pretty excited, but I don't think anyone could measure up to how happy he was and how proud he was of me uh, for what I was doing. When my son received his acceptance to West Point, I walked into his bedroom and I saluted him and said, welcome to the brotherhood of the military. My husband was in the military when I met him, and we traveled the world together after we got married. In fact, we got married in Japan. He wasn't in uniform when I met him, but when we dated, he wore his uniform. And if you know, this was in, in the 60s. And all the women would come over and be so jealous, and they wanted to touch him, and they asked him, are you an astronaut? And it was very exciting. And I was swept off my feet. Yeah, I'd really like to do that. <laughs> yeah. I would personally love to jump out of the plane and do like the diving thing. That's what I would like to do. This is, this is wonderful. And it's a great family experience for us. This is great. A couple of my kids are daredevils. Kristen was just saying that she wanted to go on one of those planes and flip around. Right? I, w I told her I would never ever, and I said that would be great for her, but I would be worried as she was on them. It's a show of perfection. We come every year. It's it's super inspiring. This is a, one of the best shows I've ever seen for air shows. We've seen a few of them in different places over the years, and this consistently is one of the best. No, this is definitely the way to go. We've been here five years in a row, and this is the first time we've been able to um, take part in the Beth Page courtesy tent and it's the only way to go. Live United really is a great opportunity for people across Long Island. Come out, buy a $10 t-shirt, support military families in need, support the veterans coming home who really need case management and support services. It's an organization like this that's rooted in Long Island that gets it, that knows that people need help and every time we go to our good friends Linda and Kirk at the top they just say yes and, you know, really able to roll out the red carpet and make it happen. Live United! Beth Page Credit Union grew up as Grumman's Credit Union. And one of the first Blue Angel planes was a Grumman airplane. Uh, so it's it's so important part of the history of Long Island, the cradle of aviation. Uh, it's an F-18 demo. We do 15 shows per year. Uh, primary job in Canada is just to raise awareness of the military for our taxpayers uh, and also do recruiting as well. Uh, here in the U.S., we're just uh, increasing our relations with our neighbors to the south. We have a lot of American influence to air shows to the north, and we're just uh, supporting the southern air shows. I'm originally from Ecuador, but I was raised here, and there's nothing better than serve the U.S. military. Yesterday, I was selling poppies at a local supermarket. The nice thing is, I had young kids, early teenagers, and maybe 10, 11 years old, coming over and donating money. And they wanted to know why a poppy. And I was able to explain to them it comes from the First World War. On the British cemeteries, they planted copy, poppies on them. And there's a famous poem that starts off on Flanders fields where poppies grow. And that's why the poppies symbolize the fallen war dead. To all that have served, are serving, thank you very much. God bless.